Hey everyone, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today I'll be preparing a chili lime cod with the spicy peanut cucumber slaw using a really cool technique called en papillote. Now before we get into preparing our fish, I want to talk a little bit about en papillote. En papillote translates to in paper, which means we're actually going to be cooking our fish inside of parchment paper. And I'll show you how that works once we get everything put together. All right, now we have our cod. This is about a seven ounce portion of cod. Um, and what we want to do before we get into the cod too much is prepare some of the flavoring agents and aromatics that go along with it. So we're going to be using some cilantro, some, some lime, some jalapeno, some garlic, and a little bit of ginger to flavor our fish. So with the exception of the cilantro, I'm going to cut everything nice and thin because this is going to be a fairly short cook time. All right, so we're gonna take some of these ingredients, combine them in a bowl. A little bit of cilantro, a little bit of jalapeno. You can change how much you want, depending on how spicy you want it. Thai chilies would be really great in here as well. Put some ginger in there. Squeeze a lime juice. And hit it with some olive oil. And we're just gonna give that a toss. All right, let's go ahead and get our cod seasoned up and then we'll combine everything in the parchment paper. All right, for the seasoning on the cod, what we're going to do is hit it with just a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna hit it with some Cattleman's Grill eight second ride. This has got some really great chili flavor in it. It's not too salty. And we're not going to go too heavy on that. But let's get everything combined. All right, now to begin to create our parchment packet, we're going to need to do a little bit of arts and crafts. And I don't know how long it's been since you made a valentine, but that's kind of what we're going to be doing here today. We're going to cut this so that it makes sort of a heart shape. Isn't that sweet? All right, I'm gonna lay down our aromatics and our flavoring agents right in the center of this half. Place our cod right on top. And then we'll just spread out a little bit of lime on top of that. Now one last touch before we close this up. We've got a lot of acidic stuff in here. We wanna make sure that it's not two over the top, so we're gonna add just a touch of sweetness with some brown sugar. All right, now to assemble our packet, we're gonna fold this over. Starting at the top of the heart, we're gonna make a little fold like this, with a really hard crease. Then we're gonna move over just a little bit, do the same thing again. And continue working our way around. So it's really important that you make sure your creases are nice and hard. That way we're going to trap in all of the air inside of the paper. And then once we get down to this end, you can see we've got a little bit hanging over. We're going to make a couple of really good creases here at the end. And tuck that last little bit right underneath. So looking around, we just want to make sure that we're folded really well. There's no place for the air to escape. And then this is ready to go on the grill where everything inside is going to steam together. All of those juices, all of those flavors will stay trapped in there. And we're going to get a really nice flavorful end product. All right, now we've got the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill preheated to 400 degrees. 
place my packet right there on top. And we're gonna go ahead and let this cook and we'll check on it in maybe about 10 minutes, but this isn't gonna take too long. So while we wait on the fish to cook, we're gonna throw together a slaw real quick using cucumber, carrot, some peanuts, a spicy peanut sauce, and some cilantro. All right, I'm just gonna cut my uh, cucumber into about two inch sections. And then I'll slice them in half. And I don't really want all the watery seeds in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop those out. All right, from here, I'm just gonna work my way around this half circle, cutting some thin slices. And that looks like that's gonna be more than enough for our fish. Next, we're gonna take our carrot and peel it. And then we're just gonna grate the carrot. We're just gonna throw in a small handful of cilantro leaves. And I've got a couple tablespoons of peanuts. We're just gonna crush these, scoop them into the bowl. And that's gonna give us some really nice texture. And to bring it all together, some Kim spicy peanut sauce. This is gonna add some sweetness and a little heat and we'll give this a toss. We just wanna get everything coated and we are good to go. Have a little taste. That's delicious. The 10 minutes into the cook, I kinda gave that a squeeze to see how it feels and it's kinda soft still. We're waiting for it to firm up a bit more so we'll give it a few more minutes. All right, so right around 20 minutes in, getting a nice firmness out of this. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up from the top. You can see all the steam's gonna be released. Oh yeah, that smells fantastic. Yep, and that's just super tender. But look at all of that juice in there. It just sits in that. Now you can serve this straight out of the parchment like this. If you like, or you can put it on a bed of greens or however you'd like to serve that. All right, so I'm just gonna take these lime slices off of here and then we can hit it with the slaw. All right, I'm gonna dig in and see how we did. Oh, I love the way the sweetness from the peanut sauce really contrasts with everything else that's going on there. I'm definitely tasting that lime as well. Mm. I'm getting a little bit of heat from the jalapeno. It's really a fantastic fusion of flavors for sure. That's a fantastic recipe. I hope you guys will check it out. I hope you let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, if there's anything you'd like to see, as always, you can let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.